doing well staying healthy this is mr bonon in this video i'm going to be talking about improper fractions and remember improper fractions are fractions that have a numerator that's the top number which is larger than the denominator that is the bottom number for example four halves it's improper because fractions are usually less than one whole so I'm going to show you how to do this with a bar model. Bar model is just like, um, like a number line. Now, ignore that. Sorry. What we're going to look at are these four rectangles. One, two, three, four. So I have four whole rectangles. Let me just label that to get that out of the way. So this is one... whole this is two whole holes two whole like two whole rectangles three I'm gonna put holes though because we've been working with one hole and this is four oh sorry four holes so we have four whole rectangles one two three four and first I'll show you this fraction four six I'll also show you oh no this is four halves I apologize four halves this will be six halves I'm gonna show you seven halves also so this bottom number, the denominator, tells us how many parts we had to partition for each hole. So we have one, two, three, four holes. And I know if it says two, that means halves. So I, each one of these holes, I'm going to partition in half as best as possible. Half. 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 Now I can start labeling it, starting with the first hole. So this is, these are all one half, right? This is one half, 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 this is one half. But I just want to um, make sure that I'll label it, just in this, for this example, I'll label it all one half, so then you know each one of these parts is one out of the two parts needed to make that whole rectangle or that whole bar all right let me switch up the color real quick I'll put purple so we count these right each one is one hat we're gonna count these up so then you can see how large six halves is how large four halves is and how large seven halves is so this is just one half if I was to shade that in if I was to shade in two of these then it would be two halves if I was to shade in one two three it would be three halves now as you notice three halves is more than one whole so these fractions after one hole that are greater than one hole those are improper fractions let me continue four halves now we see how large four halves is it's more than one hole it's more than three halves it's actually one two three four halves it's equivalent to two holes let's continue now we have five halves Next we have six halves. Next we have seven halves. And then we have eight halves. As you can see, five halves is greater than one whole. That's why five, the numerator, is larger than two, the denominator. Three halves is improper also because three 
the numerator is larger than the denominator. It might be a little bit confusing because it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So don't think that over here should be eight over eight, right? Because what we want to focus on is how many parts is needed to break up one hole, to just break up each hole. So you see there are two equal parts that break up and make up each hole. Might be a little bit tricky, but let me give you another example. Uh, let's erase all this. Erase, 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 erase. Uh, I'll keep the hole up there so then we remember that we have four whole rectangles up there or four whole bars. All right, erasing. I'm getting better with this erasing tool. I'm getting better. I'm not giving up on myself. Now, uh, let's try thirds. Let's say, for example, I had to find out where eight thirds would go. Eight thirds. I know this is improper because eight, the numerator, is larger than the denominator. When it's three thirds, I already know it's going to be one whole. So this number three, the denominator, is telling me how many equal parts each whole should be broken up into. So let me do that first. So three is the denominator. I'm breaking this whole into three equal parts. I'm partitioning this whole into three equal parts. I'm partitioning this whole into three equal parts. Can't forget about this fourth hole rectangle. And I partition that into three equal parts. Now, each one of these is one third. One third. One third. I know it's taking a long time, but I hope that you understand what's going on. Each hole is split up into three equal parts. One third one third and it's good that I label it like this inside one third if you have a paper and a pencil you may want to do that also one third and one third cool now you may think hmm one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you may think the denominator should be twelve right but it's not going to be 12 because each hole is partitioned into three equal parts. That's what this number three was telling us. Three equal parts for each hole. Now, since the numerator up here, the numerator is the number that we need to shade in or the number that we're the amount of parts that we're talking about is eight let's count eight thirds so this is one third two thirds three thirds four thirds five thirds six thirds seven thirds and eight thirds as you can see eight thirds is right here this is one third. This is two thirds. This is three thirds. Three thirds is equivalent to one whole. This is four thirds. Five thirds. This is where the fractions become improper when the numerator, the top number, is larger than the denominator. This is six thirds. This is seven thirds and eight thirds cool I don't want this video to extend too long and I want you to really understand improper fractions improper fractions are greater than one whole that's when the numerator the top number is larger than the denominator once again I hope that uh, you were able to get that if not rewind that's why I made the video so you can rewind it it's just like going back and getting seconds, eating some more. This is Mr. Bonon. I'll see you later.